Steve, thank you. <laughs> right to support President Trump at school if they choose. Arizona Republicans are demanding an answer after students were punished for wearing Make America Great Again gear on campus. Kelly Townsend is one of the state representatives looking for an answer, and she joins me now. Thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, how, what type of uh, response do you think you're going to get from this? Well, I, we already have uh, some action happening right now. And that, you know, there's some questions about the various versions of the story that we were hearing. Mm -hmm. And there's attorneys that are now involved. And one of those attorneys has issued a retraction for the school because the school said that before the video started that the mother came into the classroom or into the school yelling, uh, using the F word at, in front of students. And the attorney has issued a demand for a retraction because there was actually more to that video that was cut off because there was other students in the video, so the mother didn't want to release that. But it shows it from the moment she got out of her car and went into the building. There was no yelling, there was no cursing or or F-bomb. The school chose to fabricate um, a story about this mother in an effort to discredit her. Well, and so because of that reason and many others, we think we need to get to the bottom of it. So we've asked the attorney general to investigate. So a little background for folks who are joining us right now. It was a spirit day at this school and the theme was party in the USA and some students were disciplined as a result of this. Let's go ahead and listen to one of those students. Everyone's still allowed to have their own political view, but you shouldn't, that shouldn't affect the way you treat a student and how you discipline a student. So let me ask you, do you think, what's your opinion, do you think high school students should be able to, to wear this gear and, and, and show their support at school? Well, I don't think it matters what I think. I think it matters what the Supreme Court thinks. And in a 7-2 to two decision that students do have pure speech rights where they can express themselves on their shirts. You know, if they want to wear a, a shirt with a cross, if they want to wear a shirt that says Trump, if they want to sh wear a shirt that says Obama, they do have that right. And what the problem is, is that when someone that's in a position of authority is offended by that pure speech, they have the power to retaliate, to punish, to treat badly these kids and and to make them take the shirt off and tell them they need to leave the property of the school because they had a flag that they didn't want so and you, you can hear in the video him specifically saying you have a flag that we didn't want you need to leave and and that's wrong so the Arizona Attorney General did issue a response uh rather short response, but here it is anyway, and it says, quote, we received the letter. We'll look at all of the facts. We just don't know enough about the situation right now. Uh, what happens next? Okay, I think it's really important that everyone begins to have the conversation about what the First Amendment is and what we do to deal with situations when we see something we don't like, when we hear something we don't like. I'm hearing a lot of people saying, well, let's just ban everything altogether so that there's not these problems. But that's not what the First Amendment's for. The First Amendment is to protect the undesirable speech. We wouldn't need it if there was an yeah. undesirable speech. So, so we have to accept that and understand that people have that right and not react in a violent way to make it unsafe because we have people being violent over MAGA hats and those types of things, and what they're doing is stifling other people's right. freedom Sorry. of speech out of fear of, of retaliation. I just want to interrupt you real quick because we only have a couple seconds, and I'm curious, have you ever seen another time in our country's history where this has been a problem trickling down into even high schools? It's it's really bad. I think because there's a lack of knowledge of what our rights are. We were earlier talking about the NSA, you know, out of fear of terrorism, we've stifled your Fourth Amendment rights. Out of fear of mass shootings, we're stifling your Second Amendment rights. And out of fear of people having basically a reaction where they may become violent, now we're stifling your First Amendment rights. I think it's time for America to really go back and open up the Constitution, read it, understand what that means. And it's an uncomfortable thing, but, you know, the price of freedom is, is just that and we have to accept that there's risks there's there's uncomfortable things yeah. that we have to deal with but that's our country we appreciate that's you taking the time free. this morning representative kelly townsend thank you, you. Bet. we're coming right back thank you